Hey guys, I'm coming to you live from my living room with another episode of When the White Coat Comes Off. So keep watching if you want to hear a few of my stories from practicing and a few from when I was a student, things like that. So, Okay, so I'm going to jump into a couple from the clinic that I'm at right now. So the first one I'll start out with is with exercise prescription for this one patient that I have. So everybody can get those difficult patients, you know, they're a little bit slower to comprehend like numbers, reps, and set. I almost burst a brain vessel trying to explain to this woman to do three sets of 10 chin tucks with a 10 second hold. It was literally a back and forth for about five minutes of, so you want me to do 30 and you want me to hold them for one second? You want me to do, like I gave this woman verbal feedback about five times and then she finished them in about 45 seconds. And I was like, you're done. Are you sure? Cause we all have that internal clock after we've been working for a little bit. Like, you know how long it takes the patient to finish the exercise. So I'm like, ma'am, are you sure you're done? Because I'm doing the math in my head and it's mathematically impossible for you to do three sets of 10 chin tucks and hold them each for 10 seconds and be done in 45 seconds. I couldn't make it make sense. This other patient I had was a very interesting character. Um, so this particular day was the most interesting, I think. So she came in to her session. It's supposed to be an hour long session, mind you. She came in about 10 minutes late. Um, she went to the bathroom for about seven minutes and she had to leave about 10 minutes early. So I asked her, I'm like, so what's going on? Like, you know, we only got to work together for about 20 minutes today. I could only bill you two units. Like what's, what, what happened? She's like, oh, I had my doctor's appointment. I had, so this is a two o'clock session. She was like, I had an appointment at one and I have another one at three. And I'm politely trying to tell her like, can you schedule out your appointments a little bit more like logically next time? Fast forward, this conversation in the next visit, she brought it up because I asked her about another time she had canceled. And she said, well, the last time I was here, I was chastised for um, coming in late. And this, I was completely, I was, I didn't even know she was talking about a conversation that I had with her. I'm like, I, like, I just politely asked you, like, you know, 15 minute windows to give you a chance to drive, whatever. So in the same session, I did mention she went to the bathroom. So when she was in the bathroom for about that seven, eight minutes, I'm sitting here like she's only biked at this point. She's only gotten on the bike and has been in the bathroom for this session. And it's already like a half hour into it. So she comes out, swings open the door. Um, there's water on the floor. She's like trying to mop it up. Apparently she, I don't know, maybe and she she said she had to turn on the water to help her it was just a whole shebang not to mention that we had a thermometer for temperature checks all the way up until this day at this hour of this session so it was a very interesting day this other time um i'm setting up for a patient to do like their next exercise and you know how like when you get older like patients just they don't they don't care anymore I'm literally standing three feet away from this man and all I hear is like he just farted very casually so that happened oh yeah okay so last story that I'll make for this video um, until the next episode one of the first clinics that I was working at when I started working full-time as a PT um, you see my hair is different today of course so I'm in this clinic. I'm usually wearing my hair curly. Granted, I'm only there for six weeks of the time. So four of the weeks, my hair is like curly maybe. And then so um, I go and I get my hair straightened, which I don't do very often in general. But I'm used to getting a few like comments and compliments when I change my hair. So me going from having curly hair all the time and having it straightened, of course I had some patients make some comments. But the one, that sticks in my mind the most because this man was already very talkative and very good at putting his foot in his mouth 
he saw my straight hair, complimented it. He was like, oh, it's nice. Your hair is different. It looks so business. Yeah, that was his foot going in his mouth. Then he tried to walk it back real quick. He was like, yeah, I mean, when you wear it the other way, it just looks so free. Um, it, and I'm just like, well, if I ever heard a microaggression, I don't take any of these comments to heart when I have patients. Some, some people just aren't culturally competent. They, I put my foot in my mouth sometimes too. Like, it's okay. But there are always funny stories to tell. So, yes. That's all, that's all my stories for today. Um, I have plenty more, um, especially this one particular story that I'm just waiting to play out. We're on visit number three, we're about to have tomorrow with this patient and she is a doozy. She deserves her own story by herself. But until next time, stay tuned for episode three. Episode three, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.